Books and numerous TV and radio scripts. His final film appearance came in 1979. Broken into, especially when you manufacture burglar alarms. I got the report on the police call. Although Bacchus was very unlike his two most popular characters, the bumbling Magoo and the superficial Thurston Howell, they remained popular with audiences through the years. Bacchus joined the rest of the Gilligan's Island cast for several reunion specials. He was in declining health for many months prior to his death. Known for generations to come as Thurston Howell III. that you owe me. Bacchus suffered for years from Parkinson's disease. He died in a Santa Monica hospital. So actor Jim Backus, who died Monday of pneumonia at the age of 76. Backus had been ill for some time and had battled Parkinson's disease for several years. His career stretched back to the days of vaudeville and later included radio and the movies. But he was, of course, best loved as the muttering voice of Mr. Magoo and the shipwrecked millionaire on Gilligan's Island. Gilligan, I'm a man of few words. What will it cost to get your vote? A bill on the Riviera, controlling interest in the Golden Gate Bridge, hmm? Jim Backus was such a friendly, familiar face, it's almost as though he was a member of the family. Oh, look! Here's Thurston Howell III. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the character he played on Gilligan's Island. His real name was Mr. Magoo. <laughs> Although comedy was his forte, he also worked in musicals and dramas, most memorably in Rebel Without a Cause, as the weak-willed father of misunderstood teen James Dean. Dad, stand up for me. Stand up! In later years, things got rough for Bacchus. He contracted Parkinson's disease and was forced to stop working. With the help of his wife of 46 years, Henny, he tried his best to stay active, entertaining friends at home and putting in appearances at charity events earlier this year when just walking was a struggle. <laughs> After a career that spanned so many years, so many roles, and earned him the love and respect of so many friends and fans, Jim Backus will be remembered for many years to come. And listen to the happy laughter of those friendly natives. Oh, what a joyful lot. And a good audience, too. I must say, of course, I told the joke well. <laughs>